Attention, dear viewers. Prepare yourselves for an enthralling journey through the twists and turns of a captivating tale. We present to you the saga of Niven El Gamal, an Egyptian luminary in the realms of modeling, socializing, and interior designing. She graced the halls of luxury as the esteemed spouse of Sheikh Ahmed Al Maktoum, the illustrious head of Emirates Airline and a titan amidst the opulent denizens of the Middle East. Yet, amidst the glimmering facade of their extravagant existence, lurked shadows of betrayal, shattered dreams, and a destiny marred by anguish. How did the pinnacle of perfection descend into the abyss of despair? Why did the Sheikh shun acknowledgement of their shared progeny? And what dire conclusion befell this tale of woe? Do not overlook the opportunity to express your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Let us embark on this odyssey forthwith. By the way, let's get interactive. Tell me in the comment below where you are watching us from, and if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe. Now, let's get into details. Niven? Born into the cradle of Egypt's affluent echelons, basked in the opulence of her upbringing within a palace's embrace. Graduating with honors from Alexandria University, she envisioned not the tempestuous narrative that would thrust her into the spotlight of tabloids and glossy pages. Her focus remained steadfast on her craft, propelling her to seek refinement in the hallowed halls of academia, even traversing the seas to enroll at the esteemed American Intercontinental University. Upon graduation, she embarked on a journey, delving into her passion for design and fostering a burgeoning business empire. A connoisseur of wanderlust, her travels beckoned her to the vibrant tapestry of Dubai, yet little did she foresee the tumult that awaited. Amidst the scenic vistas, fate intertwined her destiny with that of her future spouse, Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum, scion of opulence and uncle to Dubai's sovereign, Sheikh Ahmed, titan of wealth in the Middle East, eclipsing even the might of Saudi royalty, concealed his regal stature beneath a veneer of humility. Their initial encounter, a serendipitous affair in a Japanese culinary haven, belied the grandeur of the man she had chanced upon. Only upon their subsequent rendezvous did the true extent of his affluence unravel, manifested in glossy tributes adorning his likeness. Niven, ensnared by a whirlwind of modesty and affection, found herself inexorably drawn into a realm of extravagance and ardor. Thus commenced a romance of unparalleled grandeur, a kaleidoscopic whirlwind of penthouses, yachts, and haute couture, where Niven, in her own confession, fancied herself the paragon of felicity. Amidst the splendor, the notion of nuptials lingered, though taciturnity veiled their discourse. Unbeknownst to her, the sheikh orchestrated a charade, culminating in a surreptitious ceremony, a gambit that would unravel in due time. Amidst the ebb and flow of their dalliance, whispers of duplicity wafted into Niven's consciousness, fermenting seeds of doubt within her bosom. London, the stage for their interludes, bore witness to their dalliances, intertwined with the pursuit of their respective vocations. Her affection, an unquenchable torrent, found voice in her proclamation to the British press, a testament to her devotion. Yet, shadows of treachery loomed on the horizon, as revelations of clandestine affairs pierced the veneer of their idyll. The crimson imprint of infidelity upon her sanctum spurred Niven to sever the tenuous bond, despite the Sheikh's lavish entreaties. A final ploy, a proposal veiled in the guise of matrimony, ensnared her resolve, paving the path for a union shrouded in secrecy. Enter the Urfi ceremony, a clandestine affair devoid of ostentation, where vows exchanged amidst whispered affirmations sealed their fate. Little did Niven fathom the depths of deception woven into the fabric of this purported union, a revelation that would plunge her into a maelstrom of despair. In the wake of a pregnancy, Sheikh Ahmed, erstwhile suitor turned callous deserter, absconded into the shadows, leaving Naveen bereft and forsaken. 
Dubai's gates, once open to her, now stood barred, casting her as a pariah in the eyes of the Sheikh's kin. A mother abandoned, her cries for solace met with callous indifference as the Sheikh sought solace in the arms of another. The birth of her son, a testament to their ephemeral bond, heralded a new chapter fraught with anguish and isolation. In the crucible of adversity, Niven found resilience, forging a path of independence amidst the ruins of her shattered dreams. Legal battles ensued as she sought recourse through the annals of justice, vindication tempered by the bitter reality of an unacknowledged union. London became her sanctuary, a bastion of fortitude amidst the tempest of her tribulations. Embracing her role as a beacon of hope, Niven established the Sheikh Said bin Ahmed Al Maktoum Foundation, extending succor to the downtrodden in the aftermath of conflict and calamity. Meanwhile, Sheikh Ahmed's legacy burgeoned as he embarked on a new chapter of marital bliss, leaving in his wake the specter of a son yearning for paternal solace. As we navigate the labyrinthine depths of this saga, let us ponder the vicissitudes of love and betrayal. For within the annals of history lie the echoes of Niven's plight. Share your thoughts in the comments below, subscribe to our channel, and kindle the flames of awareness. Until we meet again, adieu.